Okay, we're doing a video review here of a possible new product to come to market. And today we have uh, Terry Cutter from Chilton Trailers brought us a concept vehicle that we want your opinion on. So what we have here is in a aluminum hybrid trailer. So it actually has two trailers in one. The first part of the trailer is the main unit, which allows you to put two ATVs on the, uh, on the trailer, and then it has sides that go all the way around it. When you're done and unloaded, you can use those sides to unload the machine, but also they go on the small, on the small trailer over here. So the small trailer comes out of the back of the, uh, of the, of the main trailer, as you will see in the video, and then all the sides can actually go from one trailer to the other. Now, why is this important? If you're hauling firewood, if you're hauling game when you're hunting, uh, those are the types of things that this trailer was designed for. So you can actually use a small trailer behind your ATV or UTV. So it's a very, very great concept that, uh, that Terry has come up with. Uh, it is patented. The questions that we're actually wanting to ask are, should this be made out of aluminum or steel? Could, should there be a steel uh, product on that? Uh, it has the larger diameter rims and wheels for the main part, so it, it does better at higher speeds. So some of the other questions that we actually have are on these small ramps here, should they be continuous or more substantial to carry the bigger game, or is this parting section fine? These, I mean, these sides are going to hold up very, very well. It's a very uh, strong material. It's very thick. So um, even in the parted section, it's going to have a lot of tensile strength that's going to be able to haul most of what you want on here. Um, the aluminum version, it does have grates in it for better traction in the wet and muddy conditions. Uh, loops are built in. It could be a two by six floor, wood floor. Could be a wood floor instead of, a, uh, of a, an aluminum or full steel or graded steel floor. So with this unit, we're trying to get it under the $2,000 uh, mark for the aluminum. For, for whatever. For whatever, aluminum okay. might be too much money, so steel might have to be the option if you want to get under two grand. Okay. If it's aluminum, it might be closer to three grand, so. So a two to three grand difference. And the big difference in uh, these types of units, uh, weight-wise, when it's steel as opposed to aluminum, you're probably- 15 to 20% lighter. 15 to 20% lighter with the aluminum. So primarily this rail system allows you to take the, the rails from the small trailer onto the big trailer and vice versa. And they're also used as the ramps. The other option would be to take that trailer and have that be a rear ramp and have a permanent side. All three sides have a permanent lip or side on it. Okay. Have that be the ramp and not worry about the gates at all. Okay. Have ramps and have gates on the side of there that permanently just flip up. Okay. Have to monkey with it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually go through and take the uh, small trailer as it's set up right now and transform it back into the big trailer. So we're going to, again, for demonstration purposes, take the ramps off. And now these would have, these have uh, pins in them, so you just unpin and repin them as, as you see fit. So the ramps go on like that, and then if we take the trailer off, we can actually show this. Now if we take a look at the front of the, uh, the small trailer, this hitch is retractable. The arm has a pin, so Terry slides the pin out, and then the neck folds in. So retractable neck. And it gets repinned, and then you simply take it, put it in the grooves of the back, and you slide it in. And as you can see, one person can actually do this quite easily. And I think whether it's made of uh, steel or aluminum, I think that one person still would be able to do this quite quite easily. Obviously, aluminum is lighter. 
makes this a lot easier. And then you just put in the pins in the back to hold the trailer, the rear trailer in, intact. Once again, there are loops for hauling, uh, you know, for, for your tie downs, for when you haul, whatever you're hauling. And then these sides come off and then they lip on, which way does this go? Like this. So you can put it on like this. And because it's a continuous rail, you can just, you know, you can slide it however you need to be. You're not limited to one position. So this is a really great concept. And um, we want to know, Chilton Trailers wants to know what you think about it. So give us your feedback after watching all this footage. If you need some uh, additional information, it will be available on the uh, forums page and also on Chilton Trailers page. So let us know what you think. And it may very well go into production.